Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Monday, April 13th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading that's dated for the 13th of April, that does not mean it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading, it resonates and that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, I hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, happy Easter to those of you that celebrated. Happy Passover for those of you that celebrated as well. Passover was last week or no. Wow, I'm super late on Passover actually. Passover was like two weeks ago at this point. I don't know, maybe a week and a half. I don't know, whatever, but happy Passover. Happy Easter. I hope you all had as good of a time as you can in this whole quarantine lockdown situation. <sighs> yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Anyway, so <laughs> let's just, um, oh, there was a, I did a twin flame reading yesterday. If you guys didn't get a chance to check it out, I highly recommend that you do so. Also, um, for the, pa for my patrons over on Patreon, I was able to get, um, a specific divine feminine and specific divine masculine reading out. So that will be found there. And actually, um, those of you, I highly recommend those of you that um, resonate with me on the whole balancing masculine and feminine energy situation, um, all, those of you that really do resonate with it, I highly recommend that um, if you're able to or if you want to get in on Patreon because that I did like the very first round of Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine readings that I did over there came out really, really awesome. Um, there is a lot of balancing integration um, and a lot of mirroring between the masculine and the feminine energies, which to me only speaks to the fact that, um, you know, there are a lot of people that I resonate with that are part of my soul group um, that I channel for frequently that are in the process of integrating or have found that integration between masculine and feminine energy within. So that's a really beautiful thing. Um, so yeah, that's just a suggestion. Um, it's $7 a month, and you, not only do you get you know, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine readings, um, you get love readings, you also get a bunch of other stuff that I'm going to be rolling out, that I'm going to be working on developing. Patreon is definitely, I definitely want Patreon to become an interactive space, so if there are things that you guys want to see, um, I'll be, uh, please let me know, I'll be asking questions once I'm, you know, once I'm really ready to dive into it, because I'm in a big old... A big old uh, change <laughs> right now in my life and I don't know exactly how it's all gonna end up when it's gonna end up settling down so who knows it's, bear with me it's been a really crazy year all already I know y'all have been hearing me talk about how you know first I started with the membership thing here on YouTube but then I ultimately went to patreon but there's there's so much that I've been trying to develop um, and global circumstances are just throwing a wrench in that right now, which is kind of necessary at this moment in time in human history because there's a lot of reset that needs to happen. So bear with me. Everything's coming. Everything's happening in divine timing. But again, if you want to get in on that, if you're feeling inclined, if you're feeling interested, give it a shot. You know, it, it's going to be a really great situation. But there's a divine masculine and divine feminine reading up on Patreon. There's also a Twin Flame Collective Mirror reading here on YouTube. So if you haven't had a chance to check those out, I highly recommend you do so because they're great readings either way. Yeah. All right, kids. So with all that said, without further ado, let's see what's in the cards for the collective today. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Let's bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, April 13th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids. I'm going to give this four shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got today. One. Two. One. 
morning coffee. Three. Last one. Four. Ooh. I swear, you guys, this deck really gives my hands a workout. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, kids. Let us see here. For our Monday, April 13th. What's going on with the collective today, please, Spirit? Monday, April 13th. What would you like to discuss with us today? Five of Wands is... Okay, so the Five of Wands is the central focus here. And I really do feel like this Five of Wands, or in this case, the Five of Spring, this is talking about internal conflict. And I really feel like it has a lot to do with... Well, I'm not even going to try and speculate with all the speculate on all the things that this could have this could be dealing with right now because there's so much going on in the collective but what this feels like here is an un oof okay I just heard an unending sense of self-doubt and trickery tomfoolery uh your your ego may be may be getting really triggered right now flared up fired up with all of the change that's happening all the uncertainty also it's okay so I guess I can say that the main source of this um, unrest, this differing of opinion, this inner conflict is uncertainty. Yep. Okay. Maybe, oh, okay. And then I, this actually, this card says a few things. Um, uh, it says opposing goals arising from different options, feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people. It could be right now that maybe a plan that you have or something that you're trying to, to do and maybe get done in a certain amount of time is overly ambitious given the current atmosphere. But you might be aware of that and that could be why you're having this internal struggle, this, this internal battle, battle. It's like, okay, I know X, Y, and Z needs to get done, but we're still on lockdown right now or I don't know, whatever. Uh, maybe you're watching this long after the after the lockdown from the coronavirus pandemic and it's just circumstances are not uh, circumstances are not lining up in the way that you had wanted them to or needed them to in accordance with your maybe original plan maybe you don't even have a plan maybe you're just trying to go about it fly by the seat of your pants you know shooting in the dark like that eh, not the best idea I guess I don't know it's your decision to make um, you know your decision, your your situation better than I do, but um, it could very well be that maybe something needs to be a readjusted, a plan needs to be adjust, a readjusted, a timeline needs to be readjusted, you know, in, in accordance with a, maybe a certain plan that you've made. And so, I feel like there's a part of you that's like, no, I don't want to do that right now. But then, <laughs> source or spirit or your higher self is saying, well, you kind of have to. <laughs> yeah, I'm hearing, stop fighting me on this because. Go with the flow. Everything is working out perfectly. Your ego doesn't see or hear or know everything that is every everything that is an, a factor or an element to this right now. Okay, you have the nine of cups. All right, so cool. Nine of summer, um, which is and it, it immediately as soon as this card turned over, I heard. But you're gonna get what you want anyway. I mean, you're going in the right direction. Your wishes is going to be fulfilled. But right now, there are some. Maybe there could be some hidden elements that you're not necessarily aware of that obviously the universe or your higher self has already planned for, has already mapped out for you, okay? There's ultimately, there is absolutely a reason why things are happening the way they are happening right now. And it's all in service of you getting your wish fulfilled, okay? Also, what, I, what I'm picking up here is your ego is flaring up because it doesn't necessarily see how things are going to work out in the best way possible in the right timing. And so now your ego's kind of maybe trying to step in and be like, all right, I'm taking over here. It's like, no, no, you're not, <laughs> actually. No, that was never part of the plan. <laughs> and then we have that. Oh, okay, look, we have that with the Eight of Wands too, okay? So I, I, I just feel like whatever this is for you, whatever um, internal conflict, conflict you're experiencing, whatever ego battle you're experiencing in association with whatever this situation is for you, I feel like it's going to work out just fine. And what you really need to do is take a step back and like maybe do some extra meditation um, to maybe silence your mind, quiet the ego. Um, I just, I feel like, I feel like 
personally, you, you should probably take a step back right now and just let the universe handle this. But stay in your alignment. I'm not saying, and Spirit isn't suggesting that you completely forget about it. No, do the work that is that is required of you in maintaining your alignment to whatever it is you're moving towards. But ultimately, you've got to let the universe handle it itself. Is what I just heard. That's an interesting concept. You have to, or an interesting phrase. You have to let the universe handle. Okay, handle itself, or maybe the maybe it was actually you have to let the universe handle this itself. You can't do this on your own. Something may be very much out of your control here, although it seems to be going in the right direction. You just are have experiencing some sort of inner, inner conflict right now in association with this because of how because of the way things look on the surface. Okay, so let's get a little bit more on this, and then we'll dive a little bit deeper. What? Uh, what? Is, just a little. Okay. Ooh, five of swords. What? Okay. One more, please. What, on this five of swords. It's ow, you guys. This is so crazy. All right. So um, we're going to stop here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the knight of swords. Um, what I kind of... Okay, what I'm getting from the Knight of Swords here is that there is an energy of maybe needing to calm down. Wait, what is this that's showing itself? Oh, and there's Ego right there. Oh, ciao. All right, well, Ego also in this deck is the devil. Um, but that's exactly what we were talking about, you guys. All right, so it definitely is your Ego that's really, really trying to uh, clamp down on the whole control situation here, but... To be quite honest, that's not the ego's job. Okay, so look what we have here. We have the Five of Swords, and then to clarify the Five of Swords, we have the Seven of Cups. And it's interesting because I sh I was shuffling the deck before I started. Um, you know, I was just, just collecting the energies and getting ready, getting myself set and ready to do this reading. And when I finished shuffling, I looked at the bottom of the deck, and it was the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And I was like, wow, that actually really makes a lot of sense. For me personally, because, I mean, I'm kind of resonating. I'm, I'm part of this collective, you guys. I'm kind of resonating with this. but And, and many of you know I'm, I'm in the process of moving right now, which when I woke up this morning, I was like, uh-oh. A part of me, my intuition peaked out, uh, kicked in, was like, um, why don't we check on the status of certain things? And so I did, and I was like, wow, okay, well, there's that delay. You know what I mean? Um, and so as a result of that, it's causing a lot of confusion. There's a lot of things that are up in the air right now. And it's not just, and it's not just that, I mean, this is everything in our lives right now. Okay. So yeah, of course I'm resonating. I mean, we're all resonating with this right now, but it's a lack of clarity. There's a sense of confusion. Okay. This says no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. And I guess at this point in this situation for whomever this is for or whatever you're going through, at this point, yeah, I do think, I feel like you are overanalyzing the situation because there's literally just nothing you can do about it other than handle your own energies, your own alignment, your own vibration, and your own process once answers or clarity starts coming in. But it's because of this Seven of Cups energy that you now have an ego flare that's happening, Five of Wands, which is also leading to some sort of self-sabotage for some of five, five of Winter or Five of, five of Swords. Okay, self-sabotage. Um, Self-destruction. I just feel like there's, there, there's an, the ego is flaring way too much here. And you have this Knight of Swords energy, which is at the bottom of the deck, which is saying to me that I think there's 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 a level of aggressiveness here that's really not even necessary, not even required, because there's really nothing you can do other than sit back and allow things to happen as they will in the timing that they will. <laughs> okay, but... No, no, there are no buts about this. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So let's um, let's move forward here. Let's start clarifying. I want to start by clarifying the Seven of Cups energy. All right. All 
I, I'm honestly, honestly, you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this, I'm reading into this energy and I'm trying to pick out something to help reassure you because I feel like the main thing that you need right now is some sort of reassurance, but I, I don't, I can't even, that, that's part of the issue. There's so much confusion. There's so much going on. There's so much that's not going on. There's so much that's up in the air right now that the sense of uncertainty is real and it's real all around for just about everyone. I'm, I literally just heard there's nothing you can do about this, but just let it happen when it's going to happen or how it's going to happen. You can't control that. All right, I'm going to get this one more shuffle and then we're going to look at the seven of summer or the seven of cups here. All right. I mean, there's a part of the uncertainty could be that there's a plethora of different ways that something could turn out. Judgment. Yeah, yeah. See, the reason why things are up in the air right now is because there, there's a wake-up call happening. There's an ascension happening. There's a lot that's shifting. There's a lot that's changing. Yep, look, there's that five of wands. Okay, all right. Ooh, with the eight of swords. Okay, so here's the thing, you guys. The five of wands also represents, uh, in my opinion as a reader, the five of wands represents a chaos, okay? And there's a lot that can seem quite chaotic when <clears throat> the universe is shifting things around, when there is a big massive change that's happening. Even when it's not a massive change, when it's just like a, on a personal level, if there's a big change that's happening for you, um, it could seem like things get inc incredibly chaotic, but that's just the creative energies at work. That's just the universe at work, um, breaking things down in order to build things back up in the way that they need to be for whatever's changing for you. And thus you have a bunch of confusion. There's a bunch, of, maybe even illusion around you, or it could seem like there's a, a bunch of illusion around you, but ultimately, yeah, it's a lot of confusion because especially from like a three dimensional point of view, the 3D mind, the ego mind, you don't see the higher awareness or the higher perspective or the, the larger picture of what actually is going into making this change, right? So when things become uncertain, when things don't seem to be going the right way, when things seem to be going way against the plan that you've made, your ego is going to flare up and be like, whoa, whoa, red flag, danger, Will Robinson. This is not what we agreed upon. This is not what we planned on. But then in terms of that, you know, it's kind of funny to think that we as humans in these physical world, in these, in these physical bodies, in this physical plane, making all these plans and expecting it to go exactly the way that we wanted or expected it to is pretty laughable because ultimately we are working in tandem with a higher consciousness, with a higher power that yes, has every intention, <laughs> has every intention of bringing us what we want, nine of cups. But ultimately how we receive that nine of cups or that wish fulfillment is unbeknownst to us. We're just following along. We, from this focal point, set the vibration. And thus, from that vibration, the universe gives us what we want. It's from that vibration that we attract that which we're seeking. But how that comes to us is a, mis is a mystery. Okay? So with that said, I'm seeing like a Four of Swords type energy. We'll see if that comes out eventually in this reading, but uh, it's like in, in response to that, all you really can do is just fall back and meditate and try and keep your mind clear and try and keep your vibration clear. Yeah. Let's, I want to go a little bit deeper into judgment here with the seven of cups. What else can you tell us about judgment here with the seven of cups? Ah, the high priestess. Well, we're not going to tell you much. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Um, actually they're not going to tell us anything. All you need to know right now is you need to stay in this, stay in this energy, the magician overall, stay in this energy, allow the ascension to happen, allow the shift to happen, trust your intuition. Okay. We're not going to, the spirit's kind of saying, we're not going to give you direct answers. There are no real direct answers to give right now. Don't you remember? Everything's kind of up in the air. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of chaos. Okay. That's fine. Trust your intuition and trust your higher self, trusting the universe. As long as you stay in this manifestation energy in the, in the correct vibration or in the alignment with what that which you're looking for, 
you have nothing to worry about. It's all going to work out in time in the right way. All right. But you have to maintain that, uh, that, that alignment. Let's talk about the five of wands now. What can you tell us about this five of wands energy spirit? Ace of swords. Woof. Okay. With the eight of pentacles in reverse. Wheel of fortune. Interesting. It kind of feels like you can't really do anything right now, doesn't it? And that's the e that's the big part of the ego battle, the big part of the ego struggle. However, you know what I want to say, though? I feel like the bulk of your work is done to a certain extent. Like, it doesn't mean that there aren't still some things you could do. But I think right now, the biggest the biggest thing for your ego is that there are, is there, there really is no real strong physical action to take. Because ultimately, you've been doing the work all along. Eight of Pentacles. And what the Ace of Swords here, the Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. The Ace of Swords is upright. And so to me, this is kind of saying, it's like the, the knowledge is clear. You have all of the, everything that you need under your belt already. So now it's like, I just feel like there's this energy with the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Now is the time for you to just sit back and allow the fruits of your labor to work for you. But with the, what I'm getting with this Ace of Swords energy is do not allow your mind to run amok. Stay clear on what it is you've been working on. Stay clear on your focus. Stay clear on the understanding that this is the time for you to surrender to the situation. I just, it's like, it's like the work is completed up until this point. And it's like you're waiting for, it's like you're just waiting for that doorway to open so that you can step into the next reality that you've been working so hard towards. But here's the thing, you guys, we're all collectively speaking, we are all on this. Who's calling me? Ooh, sorry guys, I got a pause. So sorry guys, I had to take that phone call. Um, <laughs> and that actually, that phone call was <laughs> was from someone that is helping me with all the, with everything that's changing, and I, I needed it. like it's just it. Wow. Okay. Um, sorry, I I had to take that, but okay. Um, I kind of lost where we were. But I do remember that this Ace of Swords was telling you to maintain your mental stability, your mental clarity, because yes, things are in fact changing around you. And I just don't, I get, again, I just feel like the work, the, the real hard, heavy lifting at this, at least at this point, up until this point has been done already. And you're, and you're aware of that. Okay. So remind yourself of that. Whenever you feel this energy welling up and it's like your, your ego is flaring. It's like, well, we got to do something. We got to do something. Just keep reminding yourself. You guys, you, look, look, there's, there's really nothing we can do right now. We just got to stay in this alignment. Okay. So with that said, that's where this five of swords energy comes into play. So let's talk about this now. Five of swords, five of swords, nine of wands. Okay, don't give up. Ooh. Eight of Swords. Justice. With the Ace of Pentacles. All right, look. This, this Five of Winter, this Five of Swords energy is, in fact, self-sabotage. It's destructive. It's, this, it, it, it's, it's an against-all-odds energy. Don't allow yourself to make any sort of snap decisions out of fear or uncertainty because that's going to be way more destructive to you now than just going with the flow is and i know some of you feel like or at least some of you your egos are saying to you we absolutely have to do something or we're going to miss this chance it's all going to fall through and we're going to be pissed off because now we don't have what we want we're not we, we have to follow through and it's like hold on you've been following it through following through all along look at the current circumstances and look at, look at, look at, I mean, your eight of swords with the nine of wands. The nine of wands is an energy of perseverance, of not giving up, of being the, um, the wounded warrior here. But what the nine of wands is saying to me is like, you've come to this point. 
you've worked tirelessly tirelessly okay eight of pentacles i mean like you've exa you've probably exhausted all of the options of what you could do right now right and so now you're reaching this wall okay where you're in this nine of wands energy because you're at you're kind of in this eight of swords state where it's like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place and there's nothing that you can do and it's it's like the walls are closing in on you and you're freaking out more and more and more but here's the thing the Eight of Swords is mental entrapment. All you have to do is use this sword of clarity here, Ace of Swords, to cut yourself free from all of this madness. Because ultimately, you guys, justice is in fact being served. The scales are balancing out. And you have a new opportunity on the horizon here, Ace of Pentacles. Okay? But you gotta, you gotta stop fighting it so much. You got to stop fighting the current circumstances because that's not going to help you. It's only going to make things worse. It's very much like a Chinese finger trap. You got your fingers in there, right? And they're stuck. Obviously, that's how it works. But if you struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle, it's only going to get tighter, right? But there's a trick to getting your fingers out of there. All you got to do is relax, push the fingers together. That opens up the trap and then you can pull one finger out and you're free right so cut yourself free from all this madness here don't allow yourself to fall victim to the ego having its temper tantrums i want to look at justice a little bit more to try and help you know calm your mind a little bit but what is justice here please spirit what is justice Woo! okay seven of pentacles hierophant in reverse six of cups Oh, but then, damn it, there's the five of wands again. Um, all right, so look, you have the Hierophant here. And yes, the Hierophant is about teaching and learning. Um, I am picking up a bit of patriarchal energy here. I'm also picking up indoctrination and conformity and the hive mind and all that stuff. But it seems that you have worked a lot excuse me, you've learned through the contrast, seven of pentacles, and now you're releasing this element. This, this le what I'm feeling with the Hierophant here, this does absolutely represent ultimately in the grand scheme of things, in the bigger picture, teaching and learning. This, this is representing some pretty strong lessons for you that seem to be over. You've reconnected with your inner child. You're reconnected with a sense of self. You are releasing this energy of having to be some sort of conformist, having to fit in a certain way. You've learned this lesson. You've learned through the contrast. And at this point with the Seven of Pentacles, this is also only um, confirming the fact that you've done the work. The preparations have been made. And now you're at this point right now. You're at a checkpoint where it's like, I just got to let things grow. The harvest, I'm hearing the harvest isn't quite ready yet, but I want to say that the five, the, the seven of pentacles here has come out in, re, in, I'm sorry, has come out upright, which to me means that it's as if you're watching things ripen at this point, like it's almost there. Can you give us a little bit more on the seven of pentacles, please? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The preparations have been made. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There's no more action to take right now, you guys. And actually, I'm kind of appreciating the fact that this is coming out as the Knight of Pentacles in reverse because what I'm getting here is a pushy stubbornness to just keep moving when the wisest thing for you to do right now is just sit down and let what you've created already settle. Don't start, I mean, this is this is definitely giving me the energy of the Knight of, uh, this element of the Knight of Pentacles where he's like, look, we're not moving any further unless this is done correctly or at least unless this phase is finished. I'm not moving on. This is not one of those situations where we can just leave it go and move on and t t hand on, handle something else. No, we've handled enough already. There is nowhere further for us to go right now. 
we have to just sit down, settle in, hunker down, and let the work that we've done already speak for itself. Okay. I want to go to... I want to go to the Golden Universal Tarot right now. And I want to get some closing messages from Spirit. And, s and see what um, closing advice Spirit has for us, what it is that we need to know here, and then we'll close out the reading with Oracle Guidance. One more shuffle here. Closing message from our higher selves, from the collective, from the, ooh, from our higher selves. Whoa, as soon as I said that, my head started to tingle. I got like, ooh, okay. All right, closing message from our higher selves here. Okay. Alrighty, so higher selves. <laughs> you guys are funny. Look at this. The King of Pentacles has fallen out on the King of Pentacles with the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So confirming that we are well-grounded, we are well-manifested, we're in a good position, we're financially stable, I guess, um, you know, given the circumstances. We are well-grounded, we're well-manifested, we're secure, we know where it is we're going. There's, there's nothing that needs to be changed right now. Double King of Pentacles right now is saying, maintain your course the king of pentacles is earth yes um it specifically is taurus it doesn't have to be it could be capricorn or, or or virgo but what i'm getting from that the element of this kind of this ultimately uh, uh, uh if it was going to represent one of the earth signs it would be taurus and taurus is a fixed sign fixed signs have their path and they go on it they they follow that path and nothing deters them from that path or at least it is very very difficult to, to 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 get them off that path and double king of pentacles right now is saying continue your trajectory continue the path you're moving on right now towards your dreams okay let's get a little bit more please higher selves three of cups celebration yeah and look at that look our higher selves are congratulating us because we have, in fact, done the work, you guys. Look at that. That Three of Cups just fell out on the Eight of Pentacles. With what at the bottom of the deck? Oh, oh my goodness. The Six of Wands. Guys, stay the course. Maintain your trajectory, okay? Don't falter now, baby. All right? Mm -hmm. Victory is at hand here. All righty, kids. Let's get your closing oracle message. I want to get it from the Gaia oracle today. Hmm. Okay, one last shuffle. All right, closing message, please, Spirit. Closing message, please, for morning coffee here. Oh. Ooh, oh my God, you guys, you can't, I can't believe this, like, you really can't make this up. Look, it's card number 31, Ganesha. Clearing away obstacles, protection, guidance. Oh, goodness. Um, okay, so all right. Oh, so ooh, 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 look, um, you guys really, really, really put your faith in the universe right now because I really feel like even though you might, f it might look like things are never going to work out or you've got all kinds of options or, or obstacles in the way, blah, blah, blah. I kind of feel like miraculously something is going to change for some of you out there. And it may be like, it may be something that really helps you to instill instill greater faith within yourself and the universe here, okay? But th this energy of like removing obstacles out of your way is very, very strong. I, I, I don't even want to attempt to channel 
what this would be specifically. I, I kind of just want to say, allow yourselves to settle into the faith of yourself and your higher self and the universe here because great change is happening. All right, let's read this. 31, which does boil down to a four, which is stability. Okay, foundation. Ganesha. Ganesha, one of the most worshipped deities in the Hindu pantheon, has shown up in your reading today as an omen of good fortune. Whatever has thwarted your progress or prevented you from moving forward will still be, will soon be resolved. Excuse me. An obstacle is cleared and you are free to move on. Your plans are now able to come to fruition. Know that everything happens for a reason. The blockages you have faced were in fact a blessing in disguise, an act of divine intervention. Timing and circumstances were previously not favorable, and your efforts would have only ended up in disappointment and failure. The path is now clear, and the timing is right. Your stars are in alignment. I just saw 555 on the counter also. Holy moly. There's an affirmation here, and it says, I am protected and guided by a higher power. When the path is blocked, I take this as a sign to wait. I give thanks for divine intervention. When the path is clear, I move forward with ease. All that occurs or does not occur is for my highest good. Let's read that again. Say it with me if you like. I am protected and guided by a higher power. When the path is blocked, I take this as a sign to wait. I give thanks for divine intervention. When the path is clear, I move forward with ease. All that occurs or does not occur is for my highest good. Okay, I wanna do something that I don't normally do, but I'm feeling guided to do so. So I wanna pull a little more tarot here for Ganesha, and I'm actually gonna give this three shuffles. I'm gonna reshuffle it. And I actually want to get, ooh, a message straight from Ganesha. Ooh, hold on, let me try this again. Two more shuffles. So Ganesha, what do you, would you like to say? What would you like to say, Ganesha? Four of swords in reverse. Well, there's the Four of Swords energy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Patience. Patience is a virtue, you guys. Temperance is at the bottom of the deck. All right. And what I'm getting with this um, is you need to be patient because, yes, in fact, things are happening on behind the scenes. Like, the universe is, in fact, working on this with you and for you just because you don't see physical evidence in the in the physical or just because what you see in the physical is in direct opposition to what it what you know you're moving towards it doesn't matter because looks are deceiving looks can be deceiving i mean that's just surface level you don't really see everything that's happening beneath the surface you don't see all of the alchemy that's going on you don't see all of the alchemical development, is what Spirit just said, underneath the surface, okay? You have the King of Swords with the Knight of Cups. Here's that Five of Wands energy again. You have, ooh, the King of Cups, Death. Hey, now. All right, look, um, Four of Swords came out in reverse, and this is, and th this is the energy that I've kind of been feeling all along, all right? So Ganesha is talking about, look, guys you're in this space of unrest and what you need to do is keep your mind clear king of swords and keep a clear vision on what it is you're moving towards knight of cups how are you moving forward with your heart's desire maintain a sense of emotional balance strength integrity and maturity and what the king of cups is talking about in terms of that um emotional security uh, emotional maturity excuse me is recognizing especially coupled with the king of swords here is recognizing that allowing your emotions to run amok allowing yourself to get worked up or bent out of shape over elements that seem to be not working in your favor even though you don't see everything that's happening beneath the surface is never going to help you 
you have to take responsibility for your emotions. You have to take responsibility for your emotional balance, your emotional clarity, even your mental clarity and mental balance. King of Swords, King of Cups. Keep your focus, keep your eyes on the prize, guys. Eight of Wands, right here. Keep your eyes on the prize because phew, transformation is happening. Death. This is all of what Ganesha, this is the message Ganesha has for us right now, okay? Allow transformation to happen. Keep your mind and your emotions balanced and clear. Keep your focus on what your heart's desire is, okay? And rest and meditate as much as you can. Four of Swords in reverse is why this Five of Wands energy keeps popping up and is why it's leading you to a sense of sabotage or destruction. Five of Swords, which is covered in glare. Good. We don't want to look at that Five of Swords. We barely even want to see this Five of Wands, but we have to take notice of it. And we have to bring ourselves back into alignment, back under control, because if not, then it will slip into that Five of Swords energy. And before you know it, you're cleaning up a mess you never needed to make to begin with. Right? Cool. Last bit. Um, if you want to pray to Ganesha right now, go for it. Even if you don't normally. I mean, he's here saying, I'm here. If you want my help, you just got to ask me. <laughs> just like the rest of us. Just like any of us, right? Woo! All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!